It wasn't until I looked at these images that I thought about the color of the color line in terms of that division between black and white that's being often violently enforced in the Jim Crow South. The dominant narrative at these expositions in terms of um, non-white peoples um, was in terms of uh, the representation of people as, as savages, as people who needed to be uplifted by colonialism, by imperialism. So it was really crucial that people of color had something to say within these spaces. These images are, are, are movement, and that movement causes a rupture in what I would call the staticness of social Darwinism. It was not just one aspect of African American life in the U.S. It wasn't about slavery. It was about progress post-slavery. It was about post-emancipation. And this is coupled with images of African Americans in the rural South. They were entrepreneurs. They were students that were in labs in historically black colleges and universities. This was inside people's homes who were homeowners. They do attempt to look machinic or machine produced even though they're not machine produced. Um, that seems significant in terms of this claim to modernity and uh, modernization by African Americans that's happening through the images. I also see something in these images that says something about black Atlanta. Sometimes we bypass the Black South at this moment to get to Harlem and to get to the Great Migration narratives, but I think here you really are seeing like this, this kind of moment where Du Bois is saying something about uh, kind of like Black art and futurity in the South. Whether it's 1900 or whether it's 2019, people can see this information and use it in a way that Du Bois wished I think he could have, but never had the opportunity to. This is very much, you know, the kind of 1900 version of data for black lives, which, you know, some folks are working on today to think about the use of statistics and data to forward social justice and progress and um, the kind of use of data um, that's about black life and not black death. And that's really what Du Bois and his group are doing in 1900. Data is not limiting. Data can be used to really understand the human condition and our relationship with each other. Stories help to connect people, and data, I hope in some ways, data allows for black lives to be a, a part of that conversation. Mm -hmm.